So I just got back from participating in a pop-up vendor event. And for today's video, I thought I would share with you guys who I thought were the two most popular booths at this particular pop-up. And I'll explain why I think they were so popular and this will ideally help you kind of think about maybe some ideas that you can incorporate into your own next vendor event to help increase the popularity of your own booth. So at this particular vendor event, there were a ton of beautiful setups, very pretty booths um, with vendors that had a lot of great products. But the two that stood out to me, let's start off with the second most popular. So this particular vendor, she was actually a permanent jewelry vendor. And what that meant is that she had a lot of jewelry to choose from. And for those of you that aren't familiar, permanent jewelry is basically just jewelry that you're unable to take off. They literally like, I don't know if they solder it onto you or what, but I feel like it's really blown up as this big trend in the last couple of years, especially with millennials and Gen Z. I've seen it everywhere. So why I think this particular vendor was so popular is one, she had a very trendy product, but in addition to that, I think what adds to it is the fact that picking out and having permanent jewelry placed on you, it's kind of like an experience it's a new experience that shoppers get to try out for the first time. And I feel like what I've noticed over the past several years of doing pop-up events is that a lot of the time people come to pop-ups because they want an experience that's in person. I mean, we can all shop online any day of the week, but you particularly go to pop-up events because you want the experience of shopping with vendors in real life and in addition to that a lot of pop-up events will have these experiences that you can you know there's diy crafts sometimes or there's samples there's different things so i think the fact that this vendor had this experience just coupled with the fact that they also have a very trendy product i think that really boosted their popularity. So I think it's as simple as that. Now the, the most popular vendor at this particular event, she also was selling jewelry, but in her case, she actually had a charm bar. So what led me to believe that these two vendors were the most popular is that both of them consistently had so many shoppers surrounded by surrounding their booth. There was um, a line waiting to be helped by the vendor at these booths every time I walked by them. So with the charm bar, I think it's kind of a similar idea. And I've mentioned this in past videos. Experiences really seem to increase popularity with booths. So in her case with the charm bar, I think that you know charms, like charm bracelets, those have been around for ages. And I feel like they kind of go in and out of popularity. But what I've noticed recently, and you probably noticed this too, is what's currently really trendy are the bigger charms, like the chunkier charms. And that's exactly what she had. So she had this experience where her shoppers could pick out which charm or charms, multiple, they wanted. And then she actually had two helpers with her. And they would... Um, put the charm on whatever bracelet or necklace or whatever they picked out and then give it to the shopper. So it's kind of this experience. It's like build a, it's like build a bear. It's like the shopper gets to pick out exactly what they want and then they get to watch the vendor put it together and then they get to take it and go home. So it's kind of like they're involved in the creation process, which I think people really seem to enjoy. So what we can learn from both of these vendors is the fact that shoppers really enjoy and appreciate experiences or activities and factor that in with something that's a really trendy product or concept at the moment and that will almost guarantee that your sales will increase significantly. So what this means, so actually the charm bar vendor 
I've known her for several years. We've done a bunch of different pop-ups together and she originally just had a jewelry accessory brand and she was a popular vendor, yes, at these events, but she never really stood out to me as being like the most popular vendor at the event until she added this charm bar. So when you're thinking about your own booth, think about what you can add. So I once was actually at a family friendly pop-up event and there was a booth for kids that allowed them to tie dye their own shirts. So this was an activity that the kids could complete at that particular booth. What I will, what I will say is that tie dye is also one of those things. It's kind of like a trend that goes in and out of style. And I would say, right now for adults like i don't think tie-dye is super trendy right now so i i wouldn't recommend that if you sell clothing like i'm not telling you to add tie-dye to your clothing store as an activity for adults to do because i don't think that's very trendy right now but that's the type of activity that you could think about like what is similar for your brand and there's so, I mean, you guys all sell different types of products. So I'm not really here to tell you what to do, to give you an idea, but I will give you one more example. So let's say that you're a florist. You could consider an idea, an activity of allowing your shoppers to build their own bouquet and they could pick out their own flowers and you could wrap it up for them and give it to them, you know, once they pay for it, obviously. And that's kind of the activity, like build your own bouquet. That's kind of a fun idea. Throw in a more trendy product. So in my, what comes to mind, let's say you have a build your own flower bouquet, but you're just letting them pick out different color carnations. That probably isn't going to jive as well as if you were picking out a more trendy product. So what comes to mind for me is like the dried floral bouquets are really popular right now. I've seen them everywhere. So I think having a build your own dried floral bouquet as opposed to like a, you know, just a typical flower bouquet, I think that would probably be more popular because you're incorporating activity with a trendy product. So if you can find a way to add in both the trendy product and the activity, I think that's really what's going to set you apart. I want you to start brainstorming what would make sense for you guys with your own brands and try to come up with something really creative and fun and throw in something trendy to it and I think you guys will be in great shape. All right, with that, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely make sure to check out all of the videos in my new Let's Pop Shop series where I am going to teach you guys how to master the art of selling at pop-up events. So if you are getting ready for your next event, I've got all sorts of videos where you can take a look at a lot of different examples of various displays and booth setups. And I also provide a lot of tips about increasing sales and all sorts of good things, where to find, where to find pop-up events, how to get started, all of that good stuff. So definitely make sure to check us out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and Join our email list and our Facebook group. I've got so many great resources for you guys. If you join our Facebook group, you'll be able to ask me questions in real time. And if you join the email list, you'll actually get some good freebie cheat sheets for increasing sales and all sorts of good stuff. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.